I'm Cindy Moore of CoolToChick.com and this is a tutorial of Cindy's Bender. I've been teaching metalwork for about 14 years across the U.S. A couple of places that I teach are John C. Campbell Folk School in North Carolina and Touchstone School of Crafts in Pennsylvania. Materials you can use with this bender are copper, sterling silver, fine silver, faux bone, stainless steel, wire, color bone casting, gold. You don't have to anneal to use this machine, so you don't need a torch. You can purchase pre-cut strips of silver from a supplier, or you can purchase the wire from any supplier. I usually use a one half inch to a two inch for a bracelet and usually 18 gauge for a cuff. And only the pressure of your thumb. You're able to achieve a parallel bend with thin to heavy gauge metal in the bracelets, rings without hammers, stakes, or mandrels. This comes with two size mandrels. You remove your wing nuts, slip your mandrels off, and you have the ring size and your bracelet size. The smaller size will be available in summer 2008 to be bought individually on the website. To use this tool, you adjust your wing nuts for the height of the mandrel to whatever thickness the material that you happen to be using. You insert your piece in about an inch. You push up just with your thumbs. Very little pressure it takes. You keep moving it in about an inch at a time till you get the desired shape that you wish. This one is shaped out of wire, woven wire. This is a flat sheet metal and also use an anaclastic or synclastic bin. To use this anaclastic or synclastic bin, after it's already achieved, you loosen your wing nuts until you get the thickness of your bin. If I were doing a bracelet, an existing bracelet that had a stone already mounted on or a chaste and repose area or a pattern that I don't want to damage, I raise my wing nuts to whatever thickness the stone or the pattern is taken up. Then I just slide it over the stone, we'll say, and do my bend and then come to the other side of the stone and bend. So you don't damage any existing design or pattern that you've already put on your metal. Put a design or a pattern on your metal, of course, is hammering with the ball peen hammer. But here I have taken a one by seven inch 18 gauge piece of sterling silver and I've used paper punches which I buy from a whole lot of whimsy.com and this is just a manila file folder. I punch out the little designs. I take a glue stick and I glue all the little patterns on. Then I run them through the rolling mill to emboss the pattern. Here are two of the my favorite ones that I get from a whole lot of whimsy. This is the circle pattern, half circle pattern, and the star. This tool is great for classes, whether you're taking or teaching a class, for your studio or for shows. Would you rather take this small little tool here in your tool bag or heavy mandrels and hammers? I prefer the smaller tool. It's also good for repair work if you have to repair a bracelet or even reshape a bracelet. When doing a show, I fan out blanks with different designs on them. The client chooses that. I shape and size it to fit them on the spot giving them personal customization.